Iowa State University's industrial design department has for years called the Armory Home. In addition to the on-site police force, cadets, and parking division, there are expansive opportunities for aspiring industrial designers afforded by this space. And with the help of this little video, you can tour the building yourself. Let's take a peek and see exactly what this building has to offer. Press the number buttons on your keyboard to travel around the armory. Or, if you prefer, there are also timestamps in the description. My name is Jacob Martin. I'm Associate Professor of Practice. This is the large studio space in the Armory. We call this space the large sophomore studio, but they can get feedback from people even outside of studio. Most often we're sketching, designing, prototyping, very hands-on, very interactive, giving feedback to each other. We can do lectures here. Students can present on these TVs locally, or faculty or a student can present on all of these at the same time. Everything visually and sound-wise is accessible no matter where you sit in this space. I catch students students in here almost 24 hours a day, but specifically their studio time is their larger class period in the morning. As sophomores, that's your first year in industrial design. Giving the students a chance to see 75 other people's work, it's competitive, but it's also very organic because we're all in a shared space together. The one thing I tell students more than anything is design is fun. If you're not having fun doing it, you're doing it wrong. Press the number buttons on your keyboard to travel around the armory. Or, if you prefer, there are also timestamps in the description. Yeah, hi, my name is Dylan Danke. I'm a shop monitor here in the armory. This is the bench room where students come in to make all their projects for studios. If they work on their own solo projects, they're also free to use some of the materials and all of our tools in here. The purpose of this area, we have everything from sandpaper, to saws, glue guns, everything a student will need to be able to put their project together. Experiment with different materials and kind of find what you're looking for in your project. Open 24-7. This allows students to work on projects during your studio time or if you need to put in some extra work outside of class. You'll spend time in here during your like ideation phase to figure out once you make your project into reality what items need to be changed about it. And as well some of your final models you're in here sanding for quite a long time and finishing up your project. Always wear your safety glasses and have fun. Press the number buttons on your keyboard to travel around the armory. Or if you prefer there are also timestamps in the description. Hi, I'm Seth Wellam. I'm a student monitor here in the shop space. And here is the main shop room area where you have all these tools to help prototyping of your designs that you make in studio. In this space, you can do various cuttings of woods, acrylics, any sort of materials that you want, band saws, miter saws, sanding, metal machines, metal drill press, the sandblaster in here. You also have the laser cutter, laser engraver, the lays that you can turn things on, just getting in like the nitty gritty details of your final model, making it look as pristine as possible. So this part of the shop is open from 9 to 5, 5 days a week when you're in your studio hours. Be sure to measure twice and cut once. If you cut twice and only measure once, be sure to talk to Matt. Press the number buttons on your keyboard to travel around the armory. Or, if you prefer, there are also timestamps in the description. Hi, 
Hi there, my name is Cole Sampson. I'm a senior lab monitor here in the ADML, our advanced digital manufacturing lab. Here we handle most of our digital manufacturing tools. The purpose of this area is to help people figure out different ways to make things. That can be from 3D printing, a physical object, to concept design, to some laser engraving, or working on things in the digital environment, say with a VR headset, or any other software of the sort. Students can expect to spend their time in here as often as they please. We get many coming in asking questions from time to time, but more often than not, it's to request hardware, which is what we primarily handle. This is one of the most fun places in the armory, and you can do a lot in here. Don't be afraid to use the tools. They are very powerful. Press the number buttons on your keyboard to travel around the armory. Or, if you prefer, there are also timestamps in the description. I am V. My longer name is Vyankatesh. I'm an assistant professor here at Iowa State University in industrial design. This space here is our photo booth. We use a background to take really nice pictures. So there's, of course, the lights, a more diffuse light reflectors that we have. We have tripods and such. Behind me, we have this very big white boards that can help reflect light. Usually when in the prototyping phase, you know, making cardboard models, paper models, and also when they're doing the final models, which is completed, painted, actual material, you can have your models in here to take professional photos. Photography is nothing without a camera. Spoken like a true artisan. Press the number buttons on your keyboard to travel around the armory. Or, if you prefer, there are also timestamps in the description. My name is Kurt Sattler. This is the Soft Materials Exploration Lab, and I am the lab manager. We have several machines that students can use, from lock stitch to over edges to pulse hold machines, and we have a variety of industrial machines so they can construct their soft goods. We provide different threads, we provide the needles, we have lab monitors here in certain hours. They can assist with if a needle breaks, they can help with small sewing operations, and they perform the training. They can use their time here with projects that they design in any of the studios. There's a lot of times we have furniture where there is upholstery, things like that. Don't sew your fingers, don't catch your hair, and don't speed. Press the number buttons on your keyboard to travel around the armory. Or, if you prefer, there are also timestamps in the description. Uh, I'm Rob Vitell. I'm a junior in industrial design and here we have the armory center space. It's kind of like the hub for the armory. A lot of classes go in and out and through here. Within the center space we have different like board rooms where you can have private meetings and you can also do large pinups here as we have tons of open area and open space to put up your ideas. You can expect to see students in here for discussion or lecture through studio when a big presentation is being held. Students will come in here like a lecture hall and either present or get presented to the Armory Center Space is sort of just the heart of the Armory. It's a pretty pivotal part. All grade levels go through here. Press the number buttons on your keyboard to travel around the Armory. Or, if you prefer, there are also timestamps in the description.
Hi, my name's Parker, and this is one of their satellite studios here at the Armory. Think of these areas as like the scalpel to the center studio's saw. This is the mule work of the program. This is the drafting slash very early stages of manufacturing. We have the textiles and fashion studio, the bicycle studios. There's also some augmented reality and video game design stuff that's like on the cutting edge, right? And these spaces are really good if you're like me and you work really long and odd hours if you need to just get some homework done. These satellite studios are definitely going to be more broad with what we're doing in terms of actual work, but we're really refining it down to a narrower point. In design, your fear of looking stupid will hold you back more than anything else. To have an idea, just get it out there. Press the number buttons on your keyboard to travel around the armory, or if you prefer, there are also timestamps in the description. Hi there, my name is Aiden Smiley and I'm a senior industrial design and this is the paint booth. This is where you apply the finishing touches to any of your products, be it, be it actual layers of spray paint or spray adhesive or clear coats. So because inhaling aerosolized chemicals can be hazardous to you, the paint booth here is fitted with a fume hood to take all the stuff out of the air. All you gotta do is flip on the fan and then use the turntable here to get a good even coat of whatever it is you're painting. On any given project, this is one of the last places you'll visit. You wanna make sure your thing is properly designed constructed and sanded before you give it any sort of pain treatment. But thankfully there are plenty of drying racks to accommodate the ending rush. Though of course if you want to make a more presentable prototype this isn't necessarily the end of your journey. Spray to your heart's content and remember always wear your seatbelt. Press the number buttons on your keyboard to travel around the armory or if you prefer there are also timestamps in the description.